now that we've got the the robot built let's do some programming now you might have done the, the basic program where we had the left motor moving on the robot and that was a, a very simple uh, program that I told you about just to just to get us started what we have here is on the waveshare.com website um, we have some demo codes if you navigate down to the the demo code it will open up another page and then we have the alphabot demo code and it's that's um, zipped up as a seven zip now seven zip is a piece of software which uh, will compress files and seven zip is something which is free to download a piece of software that will un unzip your files for you I didn't actually have 7-Zip on my computer, so I had to use another computer where I could install 7-Zip, so I downloaded it. So, And I will just show you what you would get when you extract that. So when you extract 7-Zip, you will get two folders, one called Arduino and one called Raspberry Pi. We were just using the Arduino at the moment, and you'll see quite a few um, folders to do with different types of sensors and different ways of controlling the robot. The bit we're interested in is the Alphabot. If you have a look at Alphabot, you've got the library for the Alphabot, and then you've got some examples. The examples are what are, we're going to import into our Arduino environment. So we've got run test right through to doing different types of things with the Alphabot. So I'm just going to move back on the folder and take the whole folder that says Alphabot, which includes the library, and then I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that into the documents area of where the Arduino um, is using. Now it'll be different on your computer. Uh, I've got used to navigating through this before. So documents, Arduino, and in the Arduino area under documents, there'll be a, a folder called libraries. So in the libraries, this is where we put all of our different hardwares. And then I'm just going to control V and paste that over like that. So there we have Alphabot. So you have to do this when the Arduino environment is not open. So it has to be closed. And now I'm going to open up the Arduino programming environment. So now what we should see is once that opens up, is we have the option of using the the alphabet with the examples. So if I go to file and examples and then scroll down and I should see examples from custom libraries and we've got alphabet. So then I can go across run test. Let's try that one to start off with. It's opened up another window. Okay, so this is actually using the libraries for the, the, the test run of the Alphabot. So again, you can just upload that to the Alphabot in that way and, and check it out. Just try running it, try seeing what it does. These items here are, are commented out, so you could uncomment these and make it do different things. It looks like it will make it do different uh, functions. Now, there's a whole load of examples that you can have a play with. So again, just go to Alphabot and try these. So we've got infrared obstacle avoidance, uh, ultrasonic ranging, ultrasonic obstacle avoidance. So any of these you can open up and um, upload and have a go and see how it goes.